Hey there guys, welcome to London Luton this evening and uh, on board Echo India Delta Yankee Yankee. The topic of today's video is FSUIPC. So it's a question you guys have asked in the chat a lot, um, some of you guys in particular for the Thrustmaster Hotas, uh, Throttle Quadrant, Rudder Pedals and Joystick, so I thought I'd cover it in a video seeing as I have that bit of kit. Um, now for this you do need the paid version of FSUIPC. Uh, and what it does is I'm able to basically turn off P3D's assignments for my joystick and things and put it all to FSUIPC and it does it all for me. So I'm able to do things like this by, for example, going to the speed brake lever, not even having the mouse near it and using my throttle quadrant to do the whole speed brakes job. Uh, same with the flaps, I can just put a little lever here, the flaps will go down and again they'll go back up and also going to the APU up here, if you just look, flicking a switch and the AP will start, flicking another switch, or the same switch, the other way, and it will turn off. I'll show you guys how I've done that in FSU PC in just a moment. Okay, right, so first things first, what I wanted to show you was what happens when you don't have things assigned and how to assign it. Now, I'm only going to show you for the throttle quadrant for now. Uh, I'm not going to show you to set up the rudder pedals and the joystick because it's the same principle for pretty much all of those things. So if I just show you in the webcam here, and show you in the sim as well, so I'm sorry about the poor quality. Um, so if I go into the sim and I move the throttle quadrants now, you'll see nothing is happening. You can see I'm physically moving it, nothing is moving at all. So I'll show you how to basically map it so it will recognize this as a movement in the sim. So you want to get a hold of FSUIPC and you've got to make sure, of course, you've got the paid version of this. And you want to go into Axis Assignment because you're basically assigning the axis of the joystick to something in the sim. So if I now physically, again, I'll bring the webcam up for you guys again. Um, so if I physically bring up the, the um, throttle quadrants and I move them, FSUIPC, as you can see, will automatically recognize that I'm moving it. So full forward, as you can see, those are the figures. If I move it all the way back, again, you can see the figures. Now, it's not mapped to anything right now, if you can see here. So we need to map it to throttle. Um, you can do this for, for example, if you're moving these each individual um, kind of... What's the word I'm looking for now? Levers. There we are. So if you move each individual lever, you can actually set this to throttle 1, set this to throttle 2. Uh, I've not bothered to do that. I've just set them up as one throttle quadrant. So, again, they move together in unison, so that's how I've got them set up. So, we'll go down here. Again, you've got you've got prop, you've got mixture. There's so many things you can do, uh, but I'm looking for just throttle. If I move FSUIPC a little bit, you can have actually have <laughs> you can actually see that. Uh, where are we then? Throttle. There we are. So if I set that to throttle now, if I move it forward and backwards, it's still recognizing it as a movement and it now knows that I want to send the action of this to the sim to act as a throttle. So if I press OK now, if you guys have a look, you can see with each tiny movement, the throttle will recognize that. Again, even with all the tiniest movements, if I smash it forward, it will smash it forward in the sim. Uh, it links up pretty nicely, so that's how you do the throttle. It is exactly the same with the joystick for moving your ailerons left and right, forwards and backwards, and your rudder pedals left and right as well. So, the next few things I want to show you are button assignments. Again, I just showed you one actually, which just then was the uh, parking brake. So, if I show you the side of my uh, throttle quadrant here, I've got this little switch here. It's a two way switch, you can move it right, so I'm trying to get my finger out of the way. You can move it that way, or you can move it that way. I've got that way set to my uh, parking brake. It's just an easy place to get to. For example, here I've got this set to Togo. So again, you can move this this way, so to the right, or you can move it the other way, which will put it into Togo mode. I'm not going to do that now. Actually, I can do that now, because auto throttle isn't armed. You can see I'm pushing that, and that is, that is Togo. So when I'm flying, as you can probably make out, when I'm flying, I just hold onto it there, and advance the throttles and then basically pull that back and that will give me a uh, toga. It's quite a handy place to have it. And one of the other few things as well that you guys might have seen on stream is my speed brake. This is my speed brake lever. If you have a look on the, uh, on the actual sim, you can see with each movement it is moving in accordance. So if I move it to the 50% position, it's in 50% on the sim. If you just have a look here, 50%. And if I move it to the full forward position, it will move it into the up position and if I move it all the way back again it responds and corresponds to what I'm doing which is what you want it to do so I'll show you how to do, the, do that in the sim next and the other cool thing as well I want to show you is let me pick up the webcam here probably be easy to show you guys 
is um, the APU switch. This is actually mapped to an APU switch. It actually says APU start. You can't actually read that because of <laughs> the lighting. But if I move this to stop um, off now, you'll see in the sim, it will turn the APU off. You see that there? So if I move it to start, the APU will go to start. And if I move it to off, the APU will turn off. It's the same for the taxi light here. I've got this mapped, this button over here, to taxi light up and down. You can probably see that correlating in the sim. Uh, it's just these few little things that um, just make flying easier. So again, I'll just show you again. This is Toga. You pull it back. That's Toga. Parking brake is here. Just easier. and makes life easier when it comes to flying so I don't have to look down and look up at different things. So I'll show you guys how to do that in the sim. There's a few macros and things you have to make, so we'll get straight into that now. Okay guys, so for example, uh, don't mind the uh, 737 by the way, it's gone into a weird state because I've got like power messed up. Uh, it's only an example by the way, so um, for example, what if you wanted to set a button so you could chime the cabin like every second? So be able to do this without actually physically having to look to the overhead. Again, it's just an example, but it's like the taxi light. If I wanted to switch the taxi light on right now, I can do that with a flicker first switch. If I want to do that with a chime, I can't at the moment. What you need to do to do that is actually create a mouse macro. And what that will tell FSUIPC is that the the switch I'm about to flick, I want it to become a button that I can assign to the throttle quadrant. So to do that then, uh, you go to FSUIPC, buttons and switches, you create a mouse macro as I just mentioned. So in order to create a mouse macro, you literally, quite literally press it, you tell it where you want it to go. So for example, I would type in here PMDG, uh, let's have a PMDG73, press OK. Now nothing happens, that's fine, you've got to press OK and actually go to the sim. And then you've got to switch, flick the switch that you actually want to map. So in this case we want chime. If I flick that now, um, you know, it gives me the option to type the name of it. So for example, this is the PMDG73 and I want it to be the word chime. So here I would type the word uh, chime in. So I'm not going to do it now, so I've already got one set up. So let me just exit that. Now, once you've done that, once you've typed in the word chime, you go back into FSUIPC, you go into buttons and switches and actually end the macro making. You don't want to create any more macros once you've done that. So once you've done that then, you want to go into buttons and switches, which you already are in. You want to flick the switch. So let me turn the webcam back on again and move FSUIPC a little bit. So let me flick the switch now. So it's this one here. If I flick that, I want that to be my chime. It's now recognized as button 23. I want to select it for FS control because I want it to go into the flight sim. And then control sent when button pressed. So which control do I want that switch to do? Um, basically, what action do I want it to perform? So we go down to PMDG 737 chime. That's the thing I just created. So if I click on that now, that tells the sim or FSUIPC that when I flick this, that is going to be my chime. Now, obviously, if I just left it like that, when I flick it, it would only do it once, it wouldn't turn it off. So what, even though it's obviously turn it off as well, you want to put exactly the same thing back in. So chime. So basically when I turn it on, it will turn it off as well. So when I basically move this back to the off position, it will turn it off. So watch this. Press OK. Have a close look. Let me just move in a little bit closer as well to the chime. And now if I flick it up and down, watch what happens. Can you see that? So that's on. That's off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And I could do this all day and bing the cabin and do their head in. That's basically how you do that. That's how you map uh, and create a macro. It's the same what I've done with the taxi light. Exactly the same process. Uh, it's piss easy. <laughs> um, now, when it comes to the, um, the speed brake, which I showed you earlier on, that is pretty simple as well. So if you go back into FSUIPC, let me get rid of the webcam now, uh, and go into axis as, uh, uh, sorry, axis assignment. Remember, this is a physical moving thing that's going up and down. Uh, it's the, it's an axis. It's the speed brake. So if I move this now, you can see it already knows that I've mapped it to spoilers. So again, that's the minor, that's the most bottom position. That's the middle position and that's the top position. So um, if I now basically click on this, it's the same as a throttle. I could technically have this set to my throttle if I wanted to. If I wanted to have this as my throttle, I could. But I want it to be set as spoilers. So all you do is quite simply go to spoilers, uh, click spoilers and press OK and that will send it to the sim as a spoiler. It's as simple as that. There's no macro making needed to be done for that. Um, and again, like I say, the, the APU is exactly the same. Flick the APU switch there. That'll turn on the APU, flick it off. 
that will turn it off. I hope that answers a couple of questions. Again, it's probably not the best tutorial ever on uh, how to um, do macros and how to set FSUIPC up, but it's just a quick insight into how I've done it. So if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments or get in contact with me with the various forms that I have, and I'll be able to help. And I will also put the INI file for my modules for FSUIPC in the description as well. If you guys have the same throttle quadrant and you want to use my mappings, then you can use that. But just a word of caution as well, make sure you back up your original one, just in case my one doesn't work as, as well as you'd like, or you just don't simply like it. So uh, hopefully that helped. I will catch you guys in a stream or another video very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.